I just scored an amazing deal on a lot of games and I'm super happy about it. And I'm gonna go over that, I'm gonna open that box and show you what I got. But before that, I want to tell everybody that this video is sponsored, I say sponsored, but they ain't paying me to do this, by Retropalooza Houston this weekend. Check it out, Retropalooza Houston. All the info is gonna be down below. Check it out, it's gonna be a great event. We hope to see you there. We got ourselves a good old fashioned unboxing. Now, not one of those sorry loot box or whatever that that's all the rage today. No, this is a box of video games that I bought off of eBay. And I know what you're thinking. Why did you buy games off eBay? Well, because I got a screaming deal in this box is games for a system that I absolutely love collecting for and haven't found anything for a good long while. And I usually don't ever go on eBay anymore, but I just happened to be on eBay about a couple of weeks ago and I came across this lot and it was kind of too good to be true. I don't think it had been up for a whole lot of time. Now I paid about like 70 or 80 bucks for this entire lot. Now that might seem like a lot, but I think there's like 20 games or something in here. And usually when you come across one of these games, they're around 20 to 30 dollars a piece so quick math tells you that i got a screaming deal on this thing and honestly i just kind of hit buy now so quickly all i really did was see if it really was in fact the system that i was thinking it was and there was no kind of like issues or anything uh i didn't really care what games they were uh, I just, I don't even remember what games they were. So when the, I'm looking in this box right now, and we're gonna learn together what the games are in this thing. And uh, let me just say that the system is, oh, I'm already seeing some cool stuff. The Atari ST, of course. I'm sure a lot of you had already guessed that. But yeah, let's take a look at this. Look at this. This is a box full of, a box full of boxed, Atari ST games. Let's look and see what's in this box. Uh, first of all, we got some uh, manuals. Uh, we got Typhoon Thompson. He's some dude on a jet ski. Uh, and then we got Chambers of Shaolong. Uh, and then the loose disc. I think some of these are loose, but a lot of them are in the box. Uh, so just like I said, like when you come across some boxed Atari ST games, you're looking usually to pay 20 to 30 dollars for them. All right, so here we go. This is the first box game I'm gonna be pulling out. This is Flames of Freedom. And that looks really cool. <laughs> Masters of Strategy it doesn't sound like it might be cool because I don't like strategy games, but part of the fun about collecting these is just getting the boxes and, and the artwork and stuff um, for them. So that's really cool. It reminds me of just straight up 80s cheese. We've got like Miami Vice and Magnum PI kind of motif going on there. So very cool with that. Let's see what else is in this box. We've got, see now, okay, this is what I was talking about. I missed out on a bid for this game. This is uh, Breach 2. Uh, I missed out on a bid for this game and, it, and I was gonna pay like $20 for it loot, for not loot, for it, just this in another, in another auction. So it just goes to show you how, how good of a deal I got on this entire box. And just to follow up on the, uh, the Atari ST that I'd showed off the games, my collection, in a video a while back. And I was saying that uh, a lot of them had disc ride. I couldn't get a lot of the games to work. And a few people pointed out in the comments section that you needed to put the game in and then start the, start the system up and that's how you got it to work. I swear I do not ever remember doing that as a kid. As a kid, I remember us uh, having the system, okay, and then it was on already, you put the game in and then you go and you click, um, you go to the desktop and you click and you, and you play the game. Maybe that's because we all had pirated games back then, back in when we were, when I was, I don't know. I mean, I, that might be it actually, uh, because most of the games we played back then were pirated. Um, Cause yeah, I got the hookup on a friend, but I, I, I actually ended up putting most of those games that I owned into the system and then turning it on. And sure enough, they fired right up because they're le legit copies. So now not all of them, there were still some that didn't. Uh, and I'm guessing those are all the ones that really do have their disc rot. But uh, I was able to play a good portion of the games that I hadn't played in forever 
um, soon after that. So those of you who said said that in the comment section, I owe you one. You, that 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 was it. So thank you. Uh, we got uh, zero O topes. I don't even know what the heck that is. It's, it's got a, an old old sticker on the front of it too, which is really cool. Looks like a kind of uh, an interactive like adventure game. So there we go. Um, we've got Gold Runner. Uh, this oh, this is a shooter. This is a shooter. I'm hoping that I come across in this box a game that I had played as a kid and just just forgot about. I don't had I hadn't remembered ever. Um, Stormtrooper. Actually, this one kind of looks familiar, but I can't honestly say I have. It may just be reminding me of something that I played that was similar. Aquanaut. So this is uh, another side-scrolling game. It looks. I don't know if you fight sharks uh, or what. From the company that brought you the crystal comes Aquanaut, an interactive arcade adventure written in the spirit of 1940s cinematic heroes. Oh, very cool. I like that kind of stuff. Airball. Uh, this looks like an isometric sort of puzzle game. Maybe kind of like a Marble Madness inspired type game. Not sure. Never heard of it. Uh, we have Dive Bomber. Now this one looks like it's a uh, First person sort of um, flight simulator type game, maybe. Now we have Their Finest Hour. Oh, this was made by Lucasfilm. So this looks like it's a, another first person simulation. Uh, there's a lot of those on the Atari ST, because I know because my dad got a lot of them. Tons of them. Falcon, um, I think Thunder, Thunderhawk, um, F1, F117, Nighthawk, um, Flight Simulator, ton, tons of them. Uh, Jet, this is another Flight Simulator. <laughs> Whoever owned it, I wonder if this actually came from one, one person's collection. But uh, this is a Flight Simulator game, another one. All right, we have The Pawn. This looks like um, kind of a role playing game, actually, but an, an adventure. An adventure type role playing game. Yeah, this has a big map and all kinds of stuff. Oh wow, well. very complicated, very complicated game. I don't know how fun that's gonna be, but hey, whatever. All right, Zybots. Oh, this is made by Tengen, or Tengen, however you wanna say it. This looks like a first person, or a third person, but 3D. Um, looks like it's based off an arcade. So that's the end of the boxed games, uh, and it looks like there's 12, 13 of them maybe. So I'm really happy about the deal I got. Uh, I just wish that I recognized the, a lot of them because that's what I really hope whenever I get one of these lots is to come across a game that, because I, I, I played tons of them, tons of them back in the day because um, of my friend who had that hookup. And it was, um, you know, a lot of them I remember, but a lot of them I do not. And so I'm always hoping that I come across one that I, I I can see images in my head, but I can't remember what the title was. And it's like, how do you look it up? How do you figure out what that is? So my, that's always my hope is to come across it and just remember it. Okay, so here we have uh, some loose games as well. Uh, King's Quest 2, uh, there we go. That's a classic right there, King's Quest. Uh, here's another one. Uh, Space Quest. Space Quest, uh, looks like it's three discs. Yeah, so Space Quest is uh, a classic. It's uh, one of the classic Sierra games. So that's really cool to have. I actually always wanted to play uh, Space Quest, so there you go. Now I have a chance, finally, after all these years, I finally have a chance to, sp to play Space Quest. So I didn't play it, I didn't play it as a kid. And we have Tenth Frame. This is a bowling game. But the funny, funny thing is, it actually looks like Jackie Chan bowling. I mean, I'm not wrong. All right, here we go, focus, focus. Jackie Chan, that's Jackie Chan bowling. That's what that is right there. I know you see it too. Funny enough, after all these box games, I think I, the thing I'm most excited about is the Space Quest. Um, that's a classic. I could, you can't go wrong with Space Quest. So I'm happy about that. I just wish I had it in the box though. That would be really super cool. Because I imagine the artwork on it is fantastic. But anyway, uh, that's 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 all. I just wanted to do this video because, um, well, it's not on Game Chasers, right? So <laughs> we always we're always trying to get some good deals on Game Chasers, and 
and find some stuff for our collection, but you don't, we never run across Atari ST stuff in, in, out in the wild, ever. So it's like if I want Atari ST stuff, I have to either get it at a con or get to, get to looking off a dreaded eBay, unfortunately. And most of the times, 9 out of 10, it doesn't work out. But on this occasion, uh, I, I, got, I got a hell of a deal. I, I can't imagine that this thing was up for very long. And if it was, then maybe just the interest, it's one of those situations where the interest for Atari ST is kind of down here, but yet the prices are up here, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever. <laughs>